now and we're going and we're live okay so hi my name is Frida Siqueiros I am a part of the work of art program at Inner City Arts and today we are recording on behalf of the leadership program which is um, where we're doing a project with our activists. I will be introducing a close friend of my mom's and an amazing artist uh, Yolanda Gonzalez. Really happy to introduce her. She, she's been amazing and she's been a big influence on my life especially I've been I've grown up with her art especially she's an amazing person so Yoli uh, would you like to uh, introduce yourself and would you like to talk about yourself a little? yes Frida and it's uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you and you know I'm a big fan of your work mm -hmm. and um, you know I just um, thank you for having me thank you for inviting me to talk about my art I think it's important that we have um, a dialogue with all ages of artists so thank you for for having me today yeah of course thank you thank you for coming it's like i'm so happy we got to get you here it's been, it's, thank you so much all right so i have a couple questions for you um it, would you would you mind uh, answering them for us absolutely all right so number one so what is the integral uh to the work of an artist well, I think that um, most importantly, I think that uh, an artist needs to be true to themselves and to their creative process. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when I've been creating art for the last 35 years, and I feel that um, to have that connection with your creative self and with your art and being true to that dialogue that goes back and forth not only with your medium that you're using, but if you have a model that you're using as well, just that interaction between everybody's energy and, um, and creating um, a piece of work that is true to who you are. Yeah, that's a great, that's a good answer. Thank you so much Thank for you. that. <laughs> and uh, for, I have a second question. So what role do artists like you in, have in society? Um, specifically? Well, I think the role that um, artists have, um, the role that I feel I've always had is a very um, big responsibility uh, to convey a certain kind of aesthetic and a uh, emotion to, to a population that may not always be tied into um, that part of who they are. And I think that in a society, arts really create not only a dialogue, not only a narrative, but also a, a higher a degree of learning or understanding or um, another dimension that people usually don't delve into normally. You know, normally people go to work, they come home, they pay their bills, they, they you know, deal with their family. But I think the the part of any art, sitting, writing, um, painting, music is, is I think very important um, to our society. And I think if I can share that with the society, if I can, through what I do and my dedication uh, as my life as an artist, if somebody can be inspired by that or um, have a different perspective on their reality, for me that's really important yeah i totally agree that's, that's a very yeah that, no that's something definitely uh what a lot of artists especially as talented as you definitely represent uh in society Thank you. <laughs> and uh and for our last question uh i just want to know um how can art influence the community outside the art world well, I think the, the, the most obvious way that art can influence a community outside of the art world is through public art. Um, because I think that um, people of all, um, um, all walks of life are able to see public art. And it doesn't have to, you don't have to go to an exhibition, you don't have to go to a museum. Um, because I think some of those places may be intimidating to people who have never been or attended or been invited um, mm -hmm. so i feel public art really reaches out to a community and a population that may not um, have been exposed to art in general and i think um, 
the the themes that are put in public art are also very important and uh, because I think that people when they see Latinos or uh, Chicanos in art or they see African Americans in art I think they could very much relate uh, relate to that art which there's a big makes it that a big uh, connection for them yeah that's a, that's a big um that's a big answer actually that's a really good point and, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much and i have one personal question i wanted to ask and it's just like a simple one actually uh what are some big inspirations like from your art like what's uh, what inspires you to paint something specifically like it can be like a portrait or it can be like a still life specifically like what has inspired you to like draw those textures or paint those textures on your canvas like is there an artist that you look up to um i would say you know there's there's a few i, I come from a family a very long lineage of artists um mm -hmm. dating back to 1877 and uh, we just had an exhibition at the Vincent Price Museum of five generations of artists. Uh, so it's my great grandfather, uh, Juan Epumuseno Lopez from 1877, my grandmother, Margarita Lopez from the 1920s, my mother, uh, who's, who was, was 89, my niece, who was Laura, uh, Lauren, who's 30, and myself. Um, so to, to grow up seeing um, the artwork, the very classic portraits, um, and my grandmother's portraits and my niece's very, um, very obscure and modern work um, has really influenced me. So my family has influenced me um, greatly. And not only because my grandmother sat me down to paint when I was eight, but just seeing their techniques and, you know, walking into the museum exhibition that day, uh, that evening, and seeing everybody's work up for me was a very um, huge accomplishment because I brought all the generations together uh, and, and it was a, a really beautiful culmination of um, my mother's life because she attended, that was the last place she ever attended, but of, of me being there and seeing that I really, um, I put something together that was very important uh, historically for our family. Uh, and the other artist is Van Gogh. I'm a very big fan of Van Gogh. And um, I do love portraits and people. And I love painting uh, portraits and capturing the essence of the human being. Uh, I am not a realist. I'm an expressionist painter, artist. Um, but I, um, I love portraits and still lives. You know, I, I have started doing some some landscapes but i think um the classic um the classic themes to me are very beautiful are very beautiful yeah yeah that's amazing yeah i know that your family comes from a very artistic background and it's really impressive to just see that bloodline go on and like explore new things as like as uh, years go by and like now you're doing your own thing with expressions and you're an expressionist, like you said, and uh, you do a lot of portraits and a lot of still lives, and that's amazing, truly. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much once again for being able to do this with us. I appreciate it so much. It was a pleasure having you, Yoli. Thank you so much. Well, Frida, I wanted to say a few a few last words for you. I, you yeah. know, I think it's important to mention. You know, I've I've known your mother since I was seventeen, Mirna. <laughs> And um, your mother has always been very supportive of my creative um, uh, expression in my career. And so, you know, I, I'm very thankful of her friendship and her support because it's not easy being, uh, you know, a Chicana artist. Uh, and it's, um, she's always really been supportive. So I thank her for that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I also want to talk about you coming from a very long line of, amazing an amazing artist of, of uh, Siqueiros and I also want to thank you for um, your creative process because I see how refreshing and beautiful and powerful your art is and it's it's um, inspiring for somebody my age to see what you're creating <laughs> at your age so Frida you know thank you very much and you know I love you and you're very dear to me so I hope to inspire you like you inspire me my sweet Thank you so much. That means so much. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs>
Thank you again. Thank you very much.